National Retail Federation saying today that consumer spending has recovered quicker than expected and the momentum should carry through to the fourth quarter. And as people gear up for outdoor activities in the fall and winter, could some outerwear brands see an extra boost? Joining us to discuss uh, in an exclusive interview, Columbia Sportswear CEO Tim Boyle. Thanks so much for joining us, Tim. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thank you for uh, including me in today's uh, uh, program. Oh, absolutely. It's, uh, it's always a pleasure. And uh, I guess that the first, the first question is just... Uh, the, the level of sales you've been seeing, and, and in particular that pivot to, to online, uh, can that continue, or, or do you fear that, uh, that w the lack of a pickup in, uh, in physical retail will start to hit your overall numbers in, in some point in the next uh, 12 months? Well, you know, there's, uh, there's something to be said about tactically touching product, especially apparel and footwear. Uh, and consumers want to make sure they, they know how it looks on them and how it feels, and so... Uh, brick and mortar retail for these kinds of products is not going to go away, but we've certainly seen um, increased uh, shopping by uh, by consumers uh, digitally. And frankly, the only uh, surviving CapEx project in 2020 for our company was a, a real uh, complete redo on our own website. We had put a totally new project uh, package together to, to, to be able to have consumers see our products in a better light. And, and I think the, the move to digital purchasing on all sorts of products, but especially apparel and, and, uh, and footwear will, is here to stay and will probably be bigger than we had originally thought. To that point that we just alluded to in the intro, Tim, do, do you think you will get a boost uh, as people have to sort of eat and drink outdoors in places like New York City are doing, uh, keep, keep the laws different to allow tables out, outside? Will that help you in the winter? Well, historically, our business has really been a function of the weather. So we, we would see when, when it snows in New York City, not only do our sales go up, but our stock price goes up. Not that, not that people in New York are, are myopic, but that's been typically what's happened. But we've seen an earlier uh, level of interest uh, from consumers in winter products, and, and we would expect that that's going to continue. And if we have a normal winter weather uh, globally, uh, the company will do just just fine. And, you know, we have to remember the impacts of the virus are probably not yet um, completely known. Uh, we had a closure in, uh, in Ireland, and we have a global business, so our business is impacted when, when consumers can't go shop uh, in physical retail. Maybe you just need to have a collaboration with Justin Bieber. Apparently, Tim, that, that's one way to get the stock price up. But well, what just, about consumer discretionary spending? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just tease one. What about consumer discretionary spending in general right now, Tim? How, how has that held up given the high level of unemployment and the uncertain nature of whether we're going to get more stimulus? Well, there's certainly an impact uh, on consumers, but it always helps when uh, when Anthony Fauci tells people to go outside, at least for our company. So, you know, people are looking at the outside, at the outdoors. It's a safe way to spend time reasonably inexpensively with their families. And I think we're in the right position. Frankly, if we were if we were selling tailored apparel or formal apparel, it would it'd be a much different story. But today we're selling outerwear that's functional. Uh, it'll keep you warm. Uh, we're going to be celebrating the 10th anniversary of Omni Heat uh, on October the 10th, which is our big innovation in terms of keeping people warm. And uh, so our expectations are that people will continue to go outside and want to be comfortable that way, and that, that'll be good for us. Sorry, Tim, a bit of confusion between Sarah and I about who was, who was going next. Uh, our apologies there. Uh, in, ter in terms of uh, your point earlier about uh, store purchases versus online, do you have a, a, any data on higher cost items uh, being bought in store versus online? No, we don't have a... I, I couldn't be able to tell you um, in terms of the range of pricing and where that would be, but... Uh, you know, clearly consumers can shop at various, uh, for the same items at various price points digitally, and we see that happening as well. Um, but typically, um, our, our customers like to spend money on products that fit well and, and make them look good. And that's, there's no substitute for having something uh, physically on and, and making that decision. Tim, thanks so much for joining us. 
Thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.